Um, Fable Three. Oh, yeah. that was that was a painfully shit game. I know Fable, a lot of Fable people two. liked it. Also, I don't. I think it came out in two thousand and ten. This is the PC version, but oh, it was well, bad. Uh, let's talk about it anyway. Cause I mean, I'm oh, actually, no, I'm pretty sure Fable it came out two. this year. Maybe it came out right at the start. I have no Did idea. Did we miss I, it? I, I don't know, but... I think it came at the end of last year. But Maybe, yeah. I, I after Fable 2, because Fable 2 was so fun. Like, Fable 2 was just, like, all just the different maxing out everything. Yeah, just like, and, like buying all the house, yeah. and, like making and two characters, one good, one evil. Like, But Fable 3, like if you can't choose what you want to do with someone, like whether to some, like tell a joke or to talk or to like do something, like, it did, yeah, it's, it's overly crap. simplified. You can't choose. You can either do something positive or negative. It's crap. I don't like it at all. Yeah. It, it, yeah it, it, also, the I, fact that it, it took I, three hours to finish. Really? And that, yeah, it took three it hours took to a, finish. It took me a lot longer than a lot longer than three hours to finish. It took me three hours. Oh, you're just fucking great. My, fr- my friend <laughs> said he finished it in four hours, and I wanted to beat him. To prove to him how shit it is, and so I did, and I was just like, "This is not a game. This just costs you a hundred dollars." It's not a terrible game, but Fable Two was so good, and then when it was, Fable it's, Three came out, yeah. it's like, "Oh my god, Fable Three! The thing is, even I was, de- I was disappointed. It didn't live up to Fable, the hype. I was disappointed no, in Fable yeah. Two because Fable One was an amazing game. But I didn't. I played a little bit of Fable One. Um, I did, did, did they have the Xbox. Did they have the pub games in Fable Three? I, um, I'm not sure. Because Fable Two Keystone in the pub, that game Keystone. Oh. Yeah, Fable Two, the, all the I games think... and all the jobs, that was fun. That was yeah. Like, I, I I think I spent at like a sleepover birthday party thing on Fable Two. I think we spent six hours straight just being a blacksmith. Yeah, just until, just smithing. Until we got our multiplier yeah. to like a thousand, not a thousand, you know, like twenty. And we're just making like two k gold for each sword, yeah. And we're just infinitely rich. And then we just bought everything. The, the thing with Fable yeah. Two is that I don't know if you guys know, but if you um if you connect, yeah, the, the co-op glitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How like like if you do it like online, so say if I was playing with James here, and like we would like go through one, and we would both get experience. And then if he were to quit the game, then I would get the experience that he gained for it or something. And then. Like, like so because we've just done yeah. it together and then like he disconnects so I get the But if you have a second yeah. controller for your but what I but, but what you can do is that if you have two controllers and you sign in your second controller, then all of your stats from your first one would be doubled onto the second one, like so you could play with like a mate who come over and they'd like be the same level as you. If you then disconnect that controller, all of that experience that they've gotten just the your character you all get. So you do you connect the controller, disconnect you, you get double the experience. And so that's all I did. I just that got did every kind of ruin the game for me because I made I just way maxed out every single ability. Got like all the money. Also, the thing I didn't like about Fable Two is the fact that I was hot. I was like a hot chick. You are then, pretty hot. Then I maxed my strength out and just became this muscly, disgusting, <laughs> like horrible thing with wow. like a really tight, like fucking like mini skirt on, and it was <laughs> disgusting. Did you kill a dog at the end of Fable Two? No, I saved the dog. Oh, I killed. <laughs> I like the dog. You're a dick. That's what you are. No, but oh yeah, that, that's the James thing. James like, is how, hot. You're a dick. How, at the end of Fable Two, you can choose your fate, and you get you, you get an achievement for choosing the good one, and then you, yeah, you, you get, you you get money or you get, get love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so you're gonna choose you choose the good one, then you can complete it again and get the yeah, nice yeah. I, I like and when games do that. Click, yeah, yeah. And then you click the one as soon as you get the achievement, turn off your Xbox because it doesn't save. And then when you load up again, it'll say you still have the achievement, but it'll load up. Oh, load it, it does just it. Before, yeah, just before you actually choose it. So you can choose the second one, turn off your Xbox, turn back on, choose the third one. Why the fuck one, didn't you tell me that before I completed it twice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did, oh. Did you actually work that one out yourself? No, I was, I, um, I was playing, and I chose one of them. And I was just like, hell yeah, Tom comes in, turns off the Xbox. I'm like, what are you doing? And then you, I, mean, I was like raging and invaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Well, okay, that was a big thing on Fable Three. Yeah. Next What's game. A seventeen. Alan Noir. Alan Noir. Witcher Two. 
Witcher 2, okay, let's just get that out of the way. You didn't like because the beginning got to... Well, I didn't like right? it because I didn't play the first one and the, and it just assumed that I had. Yeah, that, that's, that's not always good. It didn't work. I, I just... I had no idea what I was doing. But from what we heard... If you had played the first one, yeah, the Witch if you had played the first one, it was supposed brilliant. to be an extremely good game, and it was a very good-looking game as well. Just yeah, I, it looked amazing. Yeah. It looked incredible, and the story was obviously good. I just had no idea what was going on. Yeah, I think I think it should at least, if if it is going to do that, at least let you know before you buy the game. At least come with like a DVD that just tells you the story. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, a quick look at uh, Wikipedia will tell you the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you shouldn't have to do that though if you yeah. if you buy a game. Um, Ally Noir, did did you guys finish that? I never even I, played it. I, I, I did I not did play, play it either. I did not touch Fraser, it. Fraser, did you play it? What? Ally Noir. Ally okay. No, okay. So but none of us like, have played I've heard it. it. Was really good, I guess. Um. There's not yeah, much we can say about that because none, none of us have actually said that. Like, obviously, it had that new technology with the facial recognition—well, not facial recognition, but had the um, uh, facial expressions on the people. Facial like, uh, yeah, yeah, which was—it looked amazing, to be honest. It, but yeah. apparently, it got really um, boring at the end. And, and like, when people actually thought about it more, they actually—I think a lot of people realized that um, when a Rockstar game comes out, obviously, these people made Red Dead Redemption, GTA 4. Everyone sort of just goes, "Oh my god, shit! This game's fucking awesome!" And, and and it's just, it's not. And I think actually people began to realize when they were reviewing the game that, you know, this game actually deserves like an eight or something. It's like it's actually got a lot of things like that aren't actually very good. I, I may be wrong, but I thought that that's what a lot of people said. What I think the, about uh, La Noire is the fact that it was a really big step forward for gaming. Yeah, so I, I guess it could, it's allowed like, to it's make just some mistakes. How adding that new technology can really make the game like just so different from any other game. Yeah. Like, 8.9 8. Like, out of 10. It did get oh, no. quite high ratings. Maybe. And if it was being interviewed independently, it probably wouldn't have got them. But yeah, it deserved right. them, I think. Um, We could sort of... Like, there's, there's games that we sort of know of, but we haven't actually tried to like play yet. Like, one, like Dirt 3. Actually, I wait, did you, you played that, didn't you? I that, dirt, dirt, I, dirt, dirt Two is gonna be my favorite racing game of all time. That's that's definitely yeah. That was my favorite racing game until Dirt Three. Until Dirt Three, yeah, yeah that's something <laughs> that I'd actually like to get into. Um, Hunter the Demons Forge. That that um. No wait 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 oh, wait no what no wait can you, can you read that one above it? Frozen Synapse. Do you remember? Do you remember buying that? Or oh, you didn't buy it? I didn't buy it. Do you remember Baldur. playing Fro Frozen Synapse with me? With you. Oh, well, you, you played quite a bit of that, actually, didn't you? You played that, yeah. yeah, I've, I've, yeah I, that was one of the few games I actually bought. And it was... If you haven't seen it, it's like... Um, people have compared it to... It's like uh, at the start of one of the... Oh, I, don't if, I don't know if that's that, but... Oh, the... Tom Clancy's Ra Rainbow Six Vegas. I think there's one bit in there how you sort of like plan how you want to like storm into the room. And it, it's sort of like that, except it's that times like a million. You can just do so many different things and like plan out a, like, like a simulation. So okay, if I move this guy here and then he comes down this way, who's going to kill each other first? Like, and then you, you'll have like certain objectives. So you have like a campaign. And, like, and the campaign can be, could have been very one-dimensional, but they just played it so well. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I played it a little bit. Um, I, I've got it. James gifted, gifted it to it's me. So Very hard to... Um, it's got a big learning curve. Because it yeah. it's a completely different sort of um, thing, like it's concept. It's, it's very did, different. Wait, did you guys? Did you guys have a competition? You gave it away? Uh, yes, we did. We never actually announced the winner of that, but um, we we did give it away. Yeah, we, yeah it was uh, kind of a discreet giveaway. Yeah, we we with the I um, be making a video we didn't have too many Portal Two entries, and with the um, like there was a lot of bugs like to do with the recording the. The entry, yeah. so we couldn't really make a video on the actual entry, but we did. Um, we did give it away to the dude with the portal two map. Um, we had about uh, how many entries did we have for the portal two maps? About six. Yeah, but the, yeah, obviously that was a lot of work Good to do. Time. I mean, it, it was more. It was more directed at like because we were doing the tutorials. Like, it, it, there were obviously a lot more than six people working through the tutorials. Yeah. It was more like fucking twelve thousand, but like it was. 
you know, only six people actually bothered to do it. I just wanted to see yeah. what people were doing, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that that's definitely a sort of a different game, and I think that um, I think it deserves a little bit more um, sort of credit for. Like, yeah, I don't think it didn't concept. get much recognition because a very innovative, innovative. It's a it's a fun game, yeah. but like it's but, like at the end of the day, it's just plan out how you want to kill them and yeah. do it. Yeah. Um, Infinite, Infamous 2 PS3 exclusive, the first one apparently was very I, good. Haven't actually read any reviews it, on Infamous 2, so... It was supposed to be good. Yeah. Um, I haven't even heard of this one. Operation Flashpoint Red River, now that's the sequel to a Dragon Rising, Operation Flashpoint yes, Dragon, Rising, Dragon Rising, which was apparently... Uh, difficulty levels in that game were, so like, yeah. e- when, it, when it went... When it went um, higher, it took away part of your so like when you were on easy apparently hmm. it was actually pretty hard but like when you went to sort of like medium and hard it would take away like your HUD yeah it take away it, like as ammo. you increase the difficulty yeah. in games it doesn't make the people hard to kill it just takes away more aspect of your HUD yeah like so it would it take it would them. take away your HUD for like like uh, ammo checkpoints things like that it would just make it difficult yeah yeah sure. it, it, it was a pretty hardcore game and I don't know if Red River was like that I'm pretty sure it probably would keep with that but um, Red I Faction Armageddon. I played the demo of Red Faction Armageddon. I actually really liked the first one. I loved. I played, loved I the, played the demo. Well, so the first Red Faction. But... <laughs> Just I played a really old school Red Faction. Yeah. 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 PS2 Red Faction. The first next gen Red Faction was good. What was it called? Yeah. Now? Duke Nukem Forever. Duke Nukem Forever. Okay, uh, just that. just quickly with Duke Nukem. I think everyone's in agree or agreements. Agreements, yeah. So is that agreement? Agreement. Agreement. No, agree. Agreement. We, we are in agreement. agreement. We are in agree. We all think the same thing. Yes. Okay, okay. so Duke Nukem Forever is, um, it's not very good. All right, it's a bit of fun, yes, but it's it's not very good. I think everyone's it's appreciated very fun that it was. Yeah. Um, you start like slapping. Kicks. It's. Uh, t- t- for today's games, no, it doesn't it keep up at all. But with, um, you know, it, you just got to appreciate that it took them a lot of time and I, effort. And stuff, it's so. actually quite well placed here with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with being a game that was revived. <gasps> Ocarina of Time did it well. Duke Nukem oh Forever just didn't. And yeah. also Deus Ex Human Revolution, that did it well. That revived a classic game, and Chief Dukem just, just yeah, destroyed it. it. <laughs> they, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think they didn't really... Is it, this, is it Was it by the same people who made it, or you don't know? Yes, that? it took them 16 because years. Because I think, like, with Zelda Ocarina of Time, um, and uh, oh, no, oh, no, more with um, Deus... Uh, Zelda like, is one of the greatest games of all time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, think, I think with Deus Ex, like how they, they remade... An old game, and they made it really good. I think with Duke Nukem, they they didn't really try to make it good. I think they just sort of they tried. Um, they just wanted to get it out finally, and then just like you're a Duke Nukem herpa like, I think like, they, they just tried to good. adopt all like the wrong kind of things yeah. about modern shooters. Yeah, that's kind of that's because it wasn't a modern shooter, and it yeah. was never. Yeah. Supposed it was. It was. Shooter, it was it just people like didn't the, expect it to be a modern shooter. They expected it to be like all the Duke Nukem have played before. It was supposed to be. De- it was supposed to be released 16 years ago. It just yeah, wasn't. No. So, so it just they kept having to slowly ke- keep up with everyone, and eventually, you know, they were like still four years behind. But um, <laughs> your thoughts on Ocarina of Time because you've played that. Amazing as the original, which is like ten out of ten. Really, even on the 3DS. Yeah. Well, it's pretty much the same controls, honestly. You still have the um, controls. To be honest, the three. <laughs> are, are, are you kidding? Have you seen bloody N64 controls? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But I think like the same kind of like joystick, like yeah, buttons kind of thing. Like yeah, you have the touch screen now as well, which like it, it's kind of useful to like switching items. It's m- it's much better. Um. But, I, I don't know, I just found it really cool. And the 3D, to be honest, is it, it's very gimmicky for the 3DS. Just um, in general. Yeah, I think it general. does work for some things, but it is... It works for cutscenes and videos, but for gameplay, having to keep the um, having to keep the handheld in like the exact right position so that it is always 3D is like very annoying, especially when like 
when you get uncomfortable uh, while you're sitting down, you just... I don't know. Uh, it's very... The 3D is very king. The game is very... Fear 3. I play haven't it. played any of the Fear series. I've played <laughs> Fear 2, three. but I, um... From what I can see, Fear 3 just looks... Just looks the same as Fear 2. Yeah, I didn't see much different. Uh, oh, fuck. What? Oh, right. Resident Evil what? 5 is a game that came out in 2009. I played that uh, for 300 hours. I, you played that a lot. I played that a lot. That it, it is, It's primarily a single-player game. I, I, game. I attempted to beat the record of how fast to complete it, and I actually got pretty close. Uh, at one point, but there was a uh, mercenaries mode, which uh, came out on the 3DS, and I have not played it because I don't What's know the mercenaries 3DS. mode like zombies. It's not like well, yeah, it's like zombies, but the whole game is like zombies. So it it's just a um, it is a, a survival um, mode, okay. um, but it's more like combos and stuff and how many points you can rack up. Like God. an arcade version of the game. I don't want to talk about it, it just unlocks so many so many memories in my brain. <laughs> it's just I don't know what it would be like on the three D S but um I'd actually like to look that up because I didn't realise they did that, so um Harry Potter and the Ghost. Deathly Hallows part two. No, <gasps> that was Sniper such Ghost. an amazing game. Did you guys I ever can't... play Sniper Ghost Warrior? I didn't play it, no. I'm pretty sure I, that I, came I out. Ages ago, it's just that yeah. PS3 version. Oh, yeah. I played it. Um, I borrowed it off a friend, and I, I did probably like the first half of the campaign because it was a very short campaign. It was it, it was cool. Like it had like bullet drop and stuff, but it also but it was just like a sniper game on steroids, and you had to like calibrate like for the wind and like bullet drop and like where they were moving, like and like just all at once. And it was really and at cool, the like, point it came it. out like Bad Company Two. Mm. A pretty, yes. pretty equal sniping <laughs> mechanic. But at the, but it but was it was a sniper game, and it was just so frustrating. Like hard when, when when they forced you to run across the map, it was. You know what it felt like? Did you ever? Um, if anyone out there has ever tried to shoot, a, have actually tried to pick up a gun and shoot it in Mirror's Edge. Yes. Uh, it was a very. Well, we played Mirror's Edge a lot. Yeah. It was just very loose and crap. It was yes. a lot. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it was just like weirdly disorientating. <laughs> and if you weren't sniping, it, you just don't. Yeah, it's actually Mirror's Edge too. When you pick up a pistol or something, it's actually very like very much like Half Life. Mirror's Edge too. Mirror's no. Ha <laughs> Wait, did I say that? I meant yeah. I meant like Mirror's That's Edge. Like, wait, what? It's like Half Life too. When you pick up a gun, like it's sort of very sort of like old. Very sort rigid. of just like rigid, yeah, yeah. It's just like no recoil Heavy. or anything. It's just like really sort of weird and sort of awkward. But like obviously, I'm not dissing Half Life Two. I'm actually trying to play through that now. Like I'm, that's one of my games I'm trying to complete this Christmas. So, um, yeah. So with what we're talking about, Sniper, yeah, Sniper goes for it. Didn't didn't really get too many good reviews. So. Um, Call of Juarez, Did you you had the first one, didn't you? I had the first. I had a sibling who bought that. It was it was pretty fun. It sort of reminded me of um of Red Dead, not so much the like the free roaming in that, but um or like you know you know the game Gun. It was like another Western. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were going to mention that. Yeah, and um and it, it was all like that, and it was like it was actually pretty cool. I seem to remember it having the Dead Eye thing from. Uh, yeah, yeah, it did yeah, because that was in a demo, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I remember that being really fun and like storming around and stuff. It was cool, actually. I don't know why I didn't, why I didn't, um, really finish it. I guess, I don't know. I guess it, I guess it just wasn't as amazing as, uh, as everyone thought it would be. Well, with the cartel, um, with the next one, it, it sort of it tried to focus more on story and the um, it it was a little bit further wrong because apparently apparently in the first one it was more sort of very wild westy. But in this one, it was more about like proper like gangs and stuff, and there was like some oh, right. stuff, and then, like yeah, like, like the, the gunplay was a lot. Yeah, yeah, there was really some like, like a massive time. Period. Western to like more modern civilization. Yeah, 
oh. are people that don't want to change. I think, I think, don't get me, I could be completely wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure the, the character you play as is actually a relative, well, no, not a relative, he's, it's, a, it's like a, I don't know, he's son of a son of a son, like, he's, he's like, you know, an answer, yeah. Um, yeah. so that's, I think that's, um, of who? Of the guy you're playing in the first game, I think, oh, I don't know, I remember, nice. I remember, I remember watching a lot of interviews when it was going to come out in July, so, um, it was, that was actually, at the time, E3, E3 happened, and that was a big part of E3 because it was just coming out. So oh, right. um, yeah, and sorry, just before yeah, Bastion. All right, I'm just... gonna let you guys uh, spiel <laughs> on about this because I haven't played it since you I, just finished I it yesterday. A... Oh, Bastion. Man. No, we... I finished Bastion yesterday. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh. Yeah, so like amazing. eight hours after I got it. Not even eight, like five hours after I got it. It's amazing. Um, yeah. I would orgasm over it if I could. <laughs> if it was if it was a woman, it would be the most perfect woman in the world. That's, and I yeah. would orgasm over it a million times. Um, it is amazing. We both bought the game yesterday. Fraser finished it, and I haven't. Um, he's now playing That's it now. You're playing it now. Yeah, he's <laughs> playing it now. Yeah. <laughs> just, just uh, I feel like playing it now. <laughs> um, the, the it's an amazing game. Absolutely amazing. It is the art style. The just the. Just the, it's Everything so unique. Everything makes it just a brilliant game. That's like the, the, the top-down isometric. The unique, like, has unique narration throughout the entire game. Like of your movements, the story. Um, like free the DLC. The co yeah, the combat the game, is really good so. as well. It's like the weapons. The you have like the bastion. The bastion is like your little it city feels, that you're trying to rebuild. Feel after the different. Weapons feel so different when you use them. Like. It's they they like each different each, from each other. Yeah, but like significantly different. Like they they have different roles because what you do is when you find them in different levels, you actually have to use them as your secondary. So like, but then until you get to a arsenal place where you can change your loadout. But the thing is, the up until you find the arsenal, the level is sort of based around using that weapon. So it's sort of like you see what I'm saying. Like it. it yeah, it, um, yeah, yeah. it's it, it cr the game revolves around certain things you have, and I think that's really awesome. Like, cause they could just that just shows effort. And I really, I think that really like drills in the fact that you are the last person like alive in that world. Yeah. And that your the world literally does revolve around you because you're rebuilding the world. That, that's not a, oh, okay. that's not a spoiler. You, the, yeah, at, the okay. the, at the beginning yeah, of the game, at you, the beginning you, of the game, you the, the, this thing called the calamity has happened, and like you're and you you you, you and this old guy and who's narrating, um, and he, uh, he he probably went in for like some awards for like best voice actor or something. He probably wouldn't get it, but um, Cause yeah, because Wheatley. Wheatley from Portal Two and that Nathan Drake guy from Uncharted. You're trying to rebuild the Bastion. Yeah. And and Which in is that, like, it's supposed to be the last safe haven, but it's just you and the old guy, and you find like a few people, and you manage and you take them back to the bastion. It's just really, it's a really good story. And what you do is you, you find we cores. Yeah, we, you find cores and you rebuild the bastions, and I don't think we should say any more because it's gonna be spoilers. Yeah, but <laughs> pretty much you, you start rebuilding and you have you unlock like like just things to incre increase like certain parts of you and your combat and everything about you so it is, it is a really full on game and it's amazing that it's only $15 and that's that really means is something to gamers $15 yeah it's sale. $15 it has been $15, yeah, $15 since release it's an arcade game which takes same you know, with, the same uh, amount the same amount of time to complete PS3. takes the same amount of time to complete as a Call of Duty campaign oh so, yeah oh. um but it feels so much better Age of Empires Online. Oh, I remember yeah. that game. That's the game we played to like level ten, and then we stopped playing. We haven't stopped playing. We're still playing. We we played. Um, <laughs> I would play Empires Empires it cost game. Eight real money now. I got well, to the point where it asked for real money, and otherwise, like, it's. I got the, the um. I got the money thing when it was on sale, so I, I didn't really have a problem. But uh, I don't know. Just like because. It's much more fun to play with friends. If you have, if you know people that yeah. like Age of Empires, you have a lot more fun than if you just kind of play it by yourself. I just I remembered we the... actually made a video on on that, didn't we? Yep. Yes. Yeah. I played the first Age of Empires. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit, like I think my brother played it. And I watched him. 
Age of Empires is an amazing series. <laughs> just, just generally, and I think Age of Empires Online, a lot of people didn't like it. I know. Is there, is there uh, like it was a, very different. It was very different to like you, the. But at the same time, it was very similar, and it kept the same sort of Age of Empires. It was different in a good feel. way. It didn't change too much. But for much. some people, it wasn't. The gameplay, okay. yes, but I, the upgrade system is probably what turned people off. Like, it's very alien to like RTS games. And it, it's kind of weird, honestly. Because like, it basically just means like one person will be better than another based on like how long they've put into the game. But I kind of don't agree with it, but at the same time, I kind of do. I, I think it's cool that you get rewarded for, playing, for putting in a lot of time, but I don't think it should be in like, you can instantly beat this other player who may actually be better than you. Is that yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, um... Speaking of like games that are like um small but incredibly good and like sort of creative like Bastion, uh, and you play this a lot. I I played it a little bit on your computer from dust. James, of that it, it's a really different. Game. I actually the thing is I haven't finished it because I got to a level oh, that I cannot beat. That game. Because it's fucking that's hard. That's the um, that's like the thing. Yeah, you know, like it's like a massive sandbox. Yeah. yeah, 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 I've watched that play. And like, uh, it is, different it is an amazing game. It is really beautiful, really fun, has like the perfect learning curve until like the second last level, which I can't beat because I'm stupid. But it, it is amazing. Like, pretty uh, much I, your god. Yeah. You, like, You're trying to take these yeah, villages to safety, like one point to the other, and like create new villages and stuff. Trying to take them to like... safety, or if you get bored, you can just like pour a volcano on their face. Yeah, that's mm. that's that's what yeah, City Falls is for. Like which you did quite a few isn't times. It, yeah. Isn't it a type yeah. of thing like, oh, this city's under attack, like tsunamis coming, so you have to like build mountains to block it off and like yeah, sort of drain it off. But, yeah. In a way, it's sort of like a town. No, nah, it wouldn't be a tower defense, but it's very much strategy. Like it's a it's strategy like a tower game. defense against nature. Yeah. It's a, very, it's a very different game. Like God. it's a very different game. And I think that's like I think that's what, like I think that's what we really need now. Like um, a lot of it's our a discussions very different game have been from recent games, but yeah. there was a period where God games were quite popular and Black and White Two, which and I haven't played Black and White One, but I assume it's very similar as well. I don't know if you guys have ever played them, but they are just they're very similar. Like. You can't pick up the le- like the ground and stuff, but in Black and White Two, you were you were God and you built a village and you had to fight like an enemy village, like Age of Empires, but you were literally God. You could like pick up trees and drop them in the storehouse, or you could like every now and then you could just grab some enemy guys and just like throw them in a fire. <laughs> no, she's just cause, just because you're cool and. From Dust really reminded me of that, and I have some really like happy memories of that game. So I think I enjoyed it quite a lot, and also it's just a beautiful game. Yeah, it looks pretty good, didn't it? You can, you can make some. Uh, you could just leave, like get your villagers and protect them in a little hole, and then just leave the game running for a few hours, and then come back, and like it'll have just built like an island, as if as if it was real life. Like trees would have grown and then burnt down again, and then grown again. And, you know, lava would have poured out and made new land, and it it just is amazing. It's like a really great simulation. Um, what's the next game? Dead Island. Dead Jeez, Island. You know when they came out? They came out in September, September the sixth. That doesn't feel like that long ago when we got that. that it sort of feels well, like a, It feels like a pretty recent game, though. I don't know if it actually was September, to be honest. I don't think it was. Uh, it was. was uh, it? Yeah, Are you yeah, sure? Jesus. Uh, well, yeah, we yeah, we no, got that on um. Uh, me, well, James. I got it quite a bit before you. I got like a couple of weeks Did before I? you. Did you? Because me and Alex finished it before you got it. That's right. Yeah. Because yeah, we've we've played quite a bit of that. I actually played more with that um. Like I would keep talking about the one that's playing um the Old Republic right now. I played. I played. I stayed up very very late playing co-op with him and it's it's a really good game it's very it reminds me of borderlands because it's like a first person rpg sort of thing and, and like it gives and you, you go, a lot of freedom you and like yeah yeah it, it, it's really similar to borderlands like that's that's what i 
class Dead Island as like a Borderlands game. Like it doesn't look anything like it's nothing like it in that sense. It's just like the, the gameplay. Yeah, Similar. and it's Australian. And it's Australian. And have really Australian. And it, the, the weird thing is when I was playing with you, James. Remember how like he's like, "Yeah, Dan, get in the driver's seat." I always get in the American side. I don't do that in real life, but like I get in the American yeah. side to get like the wheel because I'm used to doing so that. Video to games, Grand like, Auto and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got on the wrong side. But it's actually the Australian side, which is weird. They, they should have like a setting for like GTA <laughs> games, and uh, you tick the box. American and mode. Versus, you just yeah, but they don't do that for or... Australians in America in GTA games. So yeah. They wouldn't really if they had have done that, I probably would have been outraged. Yeah, that would have been a bit. Whoa. <laughs> even if even if it had have helped me. I still would have been annoyed. Um, in September, a free-to-play game went f- free-to-play on Steam. Free-to-play. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Rise of Immortals, which is, uh, as Fraser explained earlier, uh, is a MOBA game, uh, just like League of Legends. It, um, although every single time I sort of play it, I just think uh, this, is this, is, this is lol. It's just, it's just, it's just a developer that trying to make lol, and it's, it's but good. I it's don't fine. Trying to make lol, but the it's, thing is, the champions are so similar. The champions are so similar. Guy, who is a monk that is also an assassin, which is like Lee Sin, who is a monk who is an assassin. Well, like, like, like I said, like when we, 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 I played a whole entire game with that guy. With that guy, we keep talking about the, the, and he, and we, 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 we actually named all the champions, all the heroes, or. I think it's called Immortals. Yeah, they're all the Immortals in the I, game after well then, League of Legends champions, because like which each one actually looked like. Like wait, there was a wait, tree. But can but can you kill each other? Yeah, it's exactly the same. So they're not really immortal. Oh, <laughs> 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 they're re- they're re- well, and well, they're rising. Are they? It's the rise of Immortals. So they're rising. Yes, it's Callum. I get it. Stop picking holes in it. Um, Red Orchestra. Like no, we have, we haven't actually missed, played that. At you all. missed Warhammer Forty K Space Marine. Really, I did. Quality fucking game right there. Warhammer. Where are, I've I've lost what date. Same as Dead Island. Ah. That that no. you you played that for quite a bit. I, that's sort of. I've passed played a lot little. of it. It is, it is just so perfect. I I've been waiting for it for like three years when it first had a little teaser. And at that point, I was sort of into Warhammer. Okay. Yeah, was that was that when we were collecting Warhammer? Now, but... Was that when Wait, we were Warhammer's collecting Warhammer? Wait, like the thing that little the figurines. Tabletop stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, and they're like fifty dollars. This is, yeah, they're expensive. Was the was the sneak peek when we were actually collecting Warhammer at the time? Yes. Right. And when this finally came out, it it was everything I wanted it to be. It, it it just pulled off the third person being a space marine. So well, I don't even like space marines. I, I collect Necrons and Chaos. But yeah. it was just perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. I, it's everything I wanted in that kind of game. I think that's really good, especially with the Warhammer game, which is like really... like. I think it does only appeal to people who have played Warhammer the most. Yeah. Well, I, uh, to anyone else, it's just a good fighting game, like yeah. a good action game. But to someone that's played Warhammer, it is just like it just pulls it off exactly like you would play a game of Warhammer. Um, Red Nick Orchestra, to MLB, huh? Nick, uh, Nick Toons Major League Baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get to play as a SpongeBob. <laughs> oh God! Um, that Avatar dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, it's my favorite game. What <laughs> is? It's Ang Ang. Anyway, um, sorry. What game? Are we Red, <laughs> Red Orchestra Two. We haven't played. Um, but we. Uh, well, James has had Killing Floor for ages. I've never heard. But um, that. I and a few other people uh, just just got Killing Floor, and we've been playing it a lot. And the and the Red Orchestra Two was the the game that they the creators of Killing Floor made. And in the ad, it actually makes it look really good. So when that game goes on sale, we're actually all going to buy that, I'm hoping, because it actually does yeah. look like a pretty good game. So. Because Which one? Red Orchestra. Red, Red it was, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Gears of War 3, that came out... Remember how I said about the Bulletstorm uh, thing? That, uh... That, uh... Yeah, yeah. That, that was... That Gears of War 3 was actually supposed to come out straight after the beta. And then it was then to make more money out of the, uh, the Bulletstorm deal... Uh, because they found out that a lot of people actually liked the game for what it was, not because they were getting it for the beta. Um, they pushed it back to September. Uh, it's t- 
T to be honest, in my opinion, it's just another Gears of War game. I, I don't think it's good or bad. I just think that it's... Um, I played the first and it just second. finishes the yeah. story, basically. I played the first Gears of War, and I'm not a big fan of, um, like, well, the third-person games I'm not, I'm cool with, but the fact that, I, I don't know, it just felt a bit clunky. I don't know if that's, yeah, like, the I, way... That, that's the, the way the game works, Yeah, so no, I think that's the way, like, I know, I suppose that does appeal. But that, that's why yeah. I never played Gears of War as well. I, it, it, I it, just it, didn't it like the feel like feel of it. Like, I, I don't know. I like the story. I like the story of the first game. When I finished the second game, I went on to Horde Bone. I just played that with friends. That is, that is incredibly fun. And that that was the time where in in two thousand eight and two thousand nine, that was sort of the time where I I used to play a lot of sort of single player games and like um, play like a lot of sort of Xbox with with yeah. a certain group of people. And we always used to play Call of Duty World at War Nazi Zombies, Resident Evil Five, and and Gears of War 2, and so those are the sort of three games, so I have a lot of, like, playtime on Gears of War 2, but, like, f f coming from me saying that Gears of War 3 isn't something, like, I'd like, you can pretty much sort of gather that it's not really that much different. Like, it, the graphics are actually really nice. The I, I'd really like to see what the story, um, and, and I was actually going to buy it to see the story, um, to see, to the, see the story, like, how the story unfolded, but at the same time, Someone spoilt who dies for me, so what that put Mass me off. Mass Effect Three? <laughs> no, no, it was not uh, Mr. Mass Mass Effect Three. It was um, it was someone else. It was it, it was unintentional. It was a Facebook post, and he didn't think anyone would get it except um, fucking me. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so Gears of War 3, uh, Resident Evil 4 HD. That was an HD version of Resident Evil 4. No <gasps> shit. Really? really? Oh my god. FIFA 12, heard good things. Uh, yes, but then... Yeah. I love FIFA, but I'm shit at it, so I don't buy it. Pro mm. Evolution, sucker. <laughs> October. Orcs must die! Uh, uh. You played, like, how much of it? Hey, I, 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 you're skipping ahead a bit here, man. Dark Souls. Skipping. Oh, yes, Calm I am, down. I am. I Calm am. down. That's Two games from the day before. Dark Souls and Rage. Dark Souls... Is like Demon Souls, but like Dark Souls is really just like hard. the ultimate rage game, where when you die, you want to kill yourself because you just died. For the but apparently, time. it's still amazing, and it does look amazing. Yeah. And I actually really want to get it, except it's not on PC. It's and it's I'm not. It used to be. A, to it was a PS3 one. exclusive Demon Souls, but Dark Souls came out on the 360, so I thought that was good. Rage, you played. I haven't. I don't. It. I don't know what it was like on consoles, but I heard it wasn't a whole lot better. But there was some extreme performance issues on the PC. Yeah, I've like heard game about, breaking like, ones. Like the they made all. School, they they made all the textures load off the hard drive every time instead of like storing themselves within the game. So if you look away from a wall and then look back on the wall, the textures load You'll again. And unless you have like a thousand dollar like SSD drive <laughs> it'll it'll take like a second before the wall fully renders back to what it was so although you turn the around, graphics are the graphics are good though. but only when you allow yeah. 10 seconds for them to render yeah, it's, it, and when you have to do that for a game it just fucking kills it yeah. the gameplay was fun the guns looked really cool but every time I turned around the walls just flickered yeah. and it just pissed me off I just stopped playing uh -huh. it's just it's, it just looked bad. Although, although, technically, though, no matter how bad the performance was, I think that still counts as, like, uh, going into, like, the best graphics. I, oh, I think, yeah. I think, I, think, I think that actually might win that award for most most. If most they hadn't have, thingos. like, broken the game with a shitty They, they would have maybe gone and, contender yeah. for the best game, but, yeah, I, I, I don't think I'm ever really going to have a go on that. Maybe years uh, to come, I, I, but... I, um, yes, yeah, so I can talk about Orcs Must Die. Let's go. Oh, it's amazing. Sorry. It's amazing. Uh, I have played 31 hours of Orcs Must Die. It's a tower defense. I have made a couple of videos on this channel of the game. I, I was going to do a walkthrough on like every single thing, but I didn't because I was too busy playing it. Uh, I got... What was the highest in the world that I got on one of them? I think it was... I got to thir it was like the, 30... Like, above 50. 
No, I got in the top 50. Below 50, yeah. Yeah, oh, no, I, mean... I said above 50. Oh. It's just, you mean below 50. Oh, right, yeah, but... Oh, um, the second... <laughs> the second level, I got to 30-something. I don't know what it was, but... And then, and then I actually... I got this strategy, and it was amazing. And then that pumped, like, another 10 hours into it. Like, it was just... It's an amazing... It's 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 amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. And I and I'll get every DLC that comes out, which they're still releasing. Them, How so. much is it? It's fifteen dollars. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. It's, it's a it's a quality game, and the it's art good. style is really nice. Yeah. The same same art style and same company as Age of Empires Online. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah. And please just get Orcs Must Die if you have fifteen dollars and you, you're thinking of a game. To, just just get <laughs> Orcs Must Die. You don't need utter like crazy brains for it. Like it's a bit challenging at times, but every game is. But like. It's amazing. It's really awesome. Um, Arkham City. Four, Forza Four. It's, I didn't. I played Forza Three. It's just um, Forza. Did, but Forza Three, just quickly, was really. It was cool. Like it was so realistic. It was. It was just like it's like you, you know how you play like an game. And it's so cool. It's like you're on fucking like flying through shit. And you're going so fast. And it's awesome. Yeah. Like, but with with Forza, it's so realistic that you'll be going like 200 k's now, but it it looks like you're going 70. And so when the corner comes up, it's really hard to judge when to break. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem I, with racing games is the fact that it doesn't feel like real life because you don't get the g forces. So when yeah, it's but, uber, when it's like super realistic, it is really hard to judge. With, well, it um, has but, the in every Forza game, it has. Yeah. This... Yeah. Huh? Need for speed games are awesome because they have that sense of you going fast, but with yeah. Forza. They pull off like the motion blur really well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I haven't played Forza Four, maybe maybe it's some So Sesame Street Sesame Street Once Upon a Monster. Who oh played my that god, one? that game was so amazing, I couldn't wait to play it and fuck. Oh, it's a <laughs> being sarcastic if you can't tell. Um Batman Arkham City. Oh, okay. I was talking to James about this earlier. This game, it's amazing. Um, I haven't got it. I played Arkham Asylum. That was amazing. And I felt what they wanted to do with Arkham Asylum was, was sort of have more free, like give you more freedom. Like the story was amazing. The graphics were amazing. The characters were amazing. The fucking boys acting was amazing. Everything was amazing. It was like the best superhero game ever to be made. That had so many awards and like it was deemed that. But like. What well, they wanted to do, like, you could tell, like, it was like, yeah, here's Arkham, like, like the island and shit, so, like, you can go do this quest, or you can do, like, this quest, and then go back to the main quest, like, it was just like, yeah. and then, like, you could tell that, like, they were just like, okay, there we go, Arkham Asylum's out, that's an awesome game, let's go ahead and fucking make this city, and it, it looks amazing, You, it's pretty much now, like, a fucking you could go around the whole thing to do qu like side quests, main story, voice it's acting like still amazing. Like it's it, yeah, it's it's a crazy game. Like I I can't um and I I've played a little bit of it and I've watched um I've watched someone play it um a lot as well for like almost half the night. So that that was from from my experience that that, that was good. Um I don't know if it actually if apparently it didn't come out for the. The PC on the list yeah, here. Yeah, it, it came it, on the PC. Yeah, I watched it. Came out later. Tom, when Tom bought his graphic card for his PC, had a, um, a free ticket for it to download on Steam. Yeah, oh, no, it yeah, it's on, on Steam. Came, came out on PC the twenty second of November. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but, um, um, yeah. So that's a, that's a really good game. That's sort of like the uh, that was like the first of the big AAA titles that came out. Oh, Dungeon Defenders. That was pretty uh, cool. That was pretty cool. But it was cool for about fifteen hours. What's his name? Is obsessed with it. Uh, huh? Who's what's his um, name? Bloody Joe. Oh yeah, I gifted it to obsessed. him. Oh, that's because he can't get anyone to play it with him though. Yeah. Because we're all finished with it. Because the thing is with Orcs and stuff, like I really, I everyone said like, oh yeah, too bad you got Orcs must die because Dungeon Defenders is like another tower defense game that came out at the same time. And it's better because it's multiplayer. To be honest, Orcs Die is so much better because Dungeon Defenders. I don't know what it is about it. It's just I just didn't like it. Like it's, it's, Orcs it's Die was so cool. smooth and like I, I found simple. It fun, but it wasn't. No, it wasn't smooth. No, no Orcs Must Die. Yeah, Orcs Must Die. Simplicity was and smoothness yeah, it, was just made it. Dungeon Defenders 
I think it didn't explain itself enough. Honestly, yeah. like, I think the game itself lot, works. But a lot like... of a lot of what you want is is an explain. Like I I was as a I, I played the monk. I played the monk up to like level twelve. I, I unlocked all the towers. I was really looking forward to being able to use like the rage zone or whatever it was. So I was like, oh man, I'm gonna be able to like you know increase my damage and stuff. Cause like I don't know. And and I got it, and it turns out it just like randomly turns enemies against each other while they're inside. Like it's really small. Like it's not fun. That's just like I don't know. Nah, I don't. I don't think it really hit my. Like I didn't. It didn't explain like it. it. That's yeah. why. I, I if I had known that it did that, I probably wouldn't have played it for so long. Yeah. Um. Then there's Battlefield Football Three. Yeah. I haven't played it so Go. Yeah, I think I've probably played it the most. I've been play I've actually played it the last three days, pretty much solidly. Because when it first came out, I played it for like a couple of days. Yeah, that's that's more because your internet's fucked, unless because like. No, I played it before my internet got fucked, but then my internet got fucked. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just I played it the first couple of days and it was fun. Then I sort of I, I didn't finish the campaign. I had no one to play co-op with because all my friends have it on Xbox, and I have it on PC because it's awesome. And so then I stopped playing because Skyrim came out, and I've just been playing Skyrim. Yeah. And but then I went back to it the other day, and it is it's really fun. Once you get past sort of the first it's few levels, good it, it gets like, really pop off, good. Pop on game. Yeah, I I don't I play, play it play. solidly. I, I play it sort of an hour, hour and a half, and just get yeah, off, right. play some Skyrim, go like actually go outside, maybe, and then come back and play some more. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, yeah, I, I go outside. What you... uh, can you, can you, just, my opinion on Battlefield Three is that like I've played I played the beta quite a like quite a bit. I played I played on the computer on your computer, James, not for that long. But I did, I did enjoy. I, I, there's no doubt that it's better than the PC. But we had, we sort of had this out earlier about we've established that the console and the PC version of Battlefield 3 is completely and utterly different. The PC, not not necessarily just the the actual game itself. The player base is are totally different because Bad Company 2, which um, I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm pretty sure the Xbox guys when we played a lot of Xbox, we played the shit out of that, and that's because. The it, it was completely different to Call of Duty. At the time, it was Battlefield or Call of Duty. They came out at the same time. It was like, which one? Yeah. All the Call of Duty people that, like... The, the play style of Call of Duty... And we, we can sort of knock Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 both off at the same time here. I'm not comparing them. It's just, like, they're very sort of compared games. That's why I'm sort of talking about them both at the same time. But, like, the, the, players, the play style of Modern Warfare 3 is uh, playing for yourself. And, and just... Yeah, fast pace, just pay, playing for yourself, not thinking about anyone else. No one cares about the actual objective of the game. They just go, yeah, search, team deathmatch, they play for themselves, kill death ratio is all they care about. Not not necessarily everyone, but most people just go in and they just don't... There's, there's no teamwork implemented into the game, and that's fine, that's Call of Duty. Battlefield, Bad Company 2, and, and, and the other Battlefield games were very much like team-based, so every to do well and to have fun, you have to play... Uh, like a team based game so you have to use your classes the way they're supposed to be you see you, you revive people you get XP you get challenges you get you, you upgrade your class so, so you get the medic um, you get the next gun by getting the most XP for that class and by getting the most XP usually healing people um, you know reviving people not necessarily just getting killed so like it sort of move it had a completely different playstyle so when Call of Duty players were just like oh yeah there's this new Battlefield game coming out it's like all hundred bucks and shit so I just buy this and like they hated it because it was clunky and it's just the controls are different because it's not as smooth as Call of Duty it's a different game so they didn't like mm. it um, but with this Battlefield 3 they moved, and what we were saying earlier is that it gave it, Battlefield 3 sort of gives you the choice, and I'm talking purely multiplayer here, so it gives you the choice to either uh, play for yourself and still do well, or use this team-based thing, because you said like on the on the PC it has servers which are like this is a purely like team yeah, you based server, like play as a team you, you join the server and you go, everyone goes, let's play as a team, we'll like type in the chat, we'll do all the squad stuff, we'll like 
capture the points and each squad will hold a different point. And then you get the servers where it's literally just there's like one team spawning at one end of Metro, other team spawning at the other end of Metro, and 24-7 they're at the two bottlenecks of Metro killing each other. So, it's, so that's good that they that's give you fine. the choice. You want to go? I want to rank up this gun's kills. Hop onto that server and just hold down the trigger for an hour. <laughs> but and then when you actually want to, you know, actually intelligent, think, like yeah, want to like, think a little bit, you go and you just play with a team and you have a lot of fun. And that's what I've been doing the last few days, and yeah. it, it really works. And in the end, that's the beauty of the PC, and also it looks a lot yeah. better on PC. But the console, the thing is that it's always going to have the Call of Duty players going, oh shit, here's a new Battlefield game, we're going to have to get this, we'll probably hate it though. But the thing is, on the console, you don't have different servers, you all have one server, so it tur it's turned into Call of Duty, and that's why when I play it on the Xbox, I just think, this is just Call of Duty, but we but like Battlefield, and it's, it's not very good, because it's just people... Like going hopping onto Team Deathmatch again. People actually saying on the Xbox forums that Battlefield 3 is not a rush game. It's a uh, it's a uh, conquest and Team Deathmatch based game. Rush is dead. I definitely think it is more conquest. Based, more conquest, yes, but definitely. But not Rush Team is, Deathmatch. Rush yeah. is all, Rush. Rush is fucking Battlefield. It's like that is that is Battlefield. That is what Battlefield is about. Yeah, I'm Rush. not sure about the rest of the world, but in Australia and New Zealand. There are no Team Deathmatch servers on on the they, PC. They yeah. don't exist. Yeah, on PC. Which yeah, which is like all that I have a problem with Battlefield Three. I think Battlefield Three is a great game. The the campaign I still think is really linear and not particularly very good. And the the the, the co-op missions. But you can't really blame them for that <sighs> since Battlefield Two didn't have a campaign. Yeah, I mean, but. They charge you hundred dollars. Campaign isn't it? the point. The campaign is just a tutorial. Yeah, the, I mean the multiplayer. Something I don't free. like about. Like modern games, the lack of campaign. Well, that that's not a modern thing. That's a old old thing. Mm. Depends. I mean, it's, it's half and half, really. I mean, like the first first person shooters didn't have campaigns. There are games yeah. that are that are built around. They that are built for. Um, they, the if they had a focus, and then the Battlefield the isn't and built then for games, multiplayer. The that they chuck into multiplayer. Battlefield, no, but Bad Company is not built for multiplayer. Battlefield Two. Was yeah, it is. Yeah, since it's the sequel to Battlefield Two, it people would have raged if they had to put the campaign too big in. Yeah, yeah, but still, I still think they should have done that. Fuck! Know, if they're gonna put, they gave us this interesting experience. W what will I do? Bastard. <laughs> But um no, but nevertheless, Battlefield's a good game. It's just on the console, it's not as good as the PC, and it has all these Call of Duty stuff going on at the same time. Where Modern Warfare Three is concerned, like I said, I played, I played it. I just let's just forget Call of Duty. Everyone's forgetting Call of Duty. It's it's it, it's dead. It it's, didn't I'm not I'm not going to go on about this because, uh, yeah, it's just not good. 